Okay, so I got another email from the same person who wrote me the uh, last video. I do agree with your thought that gay men such as me might have a gender-shifted brain. I've heard theories that genitalia are created in the embryo before the chemicals form what gender the brain will be. I just wonder what makes the difference between someone like me and the jump to someone who considers themselves transgendered and desires to alter their body to the opposite gender. Oh, well, there's a book on... It's called Gay Straight and the Reason Why by Simon LaVey. Uh, I quote him extensively in chapter 3, and he's the guy who says that uh, uh, he himself is gay. He's a neuroscientist, and he's done the research on this that says that gay men have a gender-shifted brain. So if you're interested, read that book. Uh, now, in terms of what, what, what is the difference between gay men who are just kind of effeminate to transgendered uh, women, a born male transitioning into a woman, what's the difference? I've always looked at gay as a, uh, as a kind of transgendered light. So I would imagine, and I think he goes into this, that transgendered people uh, just go, just get like maybe an extra amount of hormones or they get it at the different time. So it shifts them almost completely over uh, to where they feel totally the opposite of what, uh, what gender they are. And they want to have the same kind of uh, sexual outside genitalia as what they feel like. Whereas with gay men, they don't have a problem with the fact that they have a penis, but they are still somewhat effeminate. Uh, it also makes sense, because I always joke that I have a brain like a woman. The way I think and see things, I've always related to women more than men. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is what, a, what a, a lot of gay people say. The first gay guy... Uh, Carl Heinrich Ulrichs in the 1860s said the same thing. Uh, but such a topic, I'm sure, will be very controversial in the gay community. Well, there's a couple ironies to it. Um, whenever, whenever gay men say that they're, they're actually referencing the science that's in this book, the same guy who says that uh, gay are somewhat uh, gender shifted towards the effeminate. So there's this sort of irony that whenever people say, oh, we're born this way, but they don't go into the specifics that it's not just sexual orientation, it's not just sexuality, but it's, it's also a gender shift. Um, and, and, you know, I do go into that uh, in chapter, chapter 9, that there's a lot of gay men who have this, this, this weird relationship with gender. They, 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 a lot of them were bullied as, as young men and as boys because they were effeminate, so they kind of lash out, lash back out at masculinity and say, well, because I wasn't masculine, masculinity itself is bad. But that's, that's, that's really not a good way of looking at it. Masculinity is, is not descriptive, is, pers is not prescriptive. Nobody should tell you, 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 you have to be masculine. But that doesn't mean that there isn't masculinity. And I think a lot of gay men fall if they don't want to recognize that there is such thing as masculinity because it hurt them, so they just want to deny that it exists. But that's, I think, uh, not very correct. Uh, you continue, it also makes me wonder about the rare masculine gay types. Are they genuinely masculine or is it a front? Which I notice you mentioned a bit in one of your chapters. Yeah, that's chapter 9. They also seem to have a harder time coming to terms with their sexuality and being open about it than the rest of gay men. My ex is one of these types, but he isn't out at work and hadn't come out to his mother until he was 28 due to my encouragement. Well, there's a couple answers. It's not either or, just like, just like in the last video. Um, there could be genuinely masculine guys who are attracted to men. I mean, even if we ignore Guerrero and we just look at straight men and they say, ooh, I'm masculine, but I'm attracted to feminine. Well, if gay men are feminine to some degree, they should uh, get, uh, straight men, genuinely masculine straight men should be attracted to them anyways. Uh, because society has a problem with effeminacy in men, there will be a lot of uh, more or less want to be masculine. So as a result, they're going to to um, uh, be, try to appear a little more masculine. And a lot of the times, it is a front. Uh, I've certainly seen that with a lot of gay men in the gay community, and they tend to be also the ones who also look down on the uh, more effeminate gays, and I've always thought that's kind of petty and, and more uh, just kind of nasty. You continue, keep up the work, and I look forward to more videos and material from you. It is such a fascinating topic, and I'm glad I don't have to tackle alone anymore. Some of my gay friends get really angry with me about the whole hooking up with straight men thing, 
They don't understand the need for masculine types, and they dismiss these guys as really gay without understanding the fact that they're truly curious and sexuality is not black and white. Well, thank you very much.